Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Today I have with me the Casio Privia Pro PX560. Now of all of the Privia series, the 350, the 360, you name it, 750, 850, this is the most configurable of all of them. They all use the same 9-foot Steinway Grand for their samples, but you can configure it the best with the Casio Privia Pro PX560. So let me demonstrate. It has things like damper resonance, string resonance, hammer response, and a whole bunch of other sounds, uh, and a whole bunch of other things that you can control. Let me just go over what some of those things mean. Damper resonance. That's the deep feeling of the piano soundboard interacting with the strings. So when you're hitting the damper pedal and you're playing it interacts with the soundboard and you can hear a big difference over there and string resonance let me um, go through a sample of string re resonance here to show you what I mean so I'm gonna hold down a C chord I'm gonna try and play this without making any notes sound All right I'm holding down a C chord C E G and C you don't hear it, but I'm holding it down. Now, anything I play that's a cousin or harmonic of one of those keys, you'll hear a resonance here. So I'm going to play a D, which is not related. So all you hear is a D. An A is not related. All you hear is an A. C, E, G, C. Let me play a G. Now you can hear that resonance. C. A chord. A C, E, G chord. And you can actually control how much of that resonance is happening. All right, then there's hammer response. There's eight levels of hammer response. Now that mimics the time from pressing a key to the time the hammer strikes a string. It can be immediate, it can be a little bit delayed. It depends on what you want to do. All right, so let's go through some of these. And these settings are in a couple of different menus. Let's start out with the system setting. So we press system, and we'll notice the first thing is the touch response. Now there's four different things you can choose in the touch response. You can turn it off. You can have light, normal, and heavy. And for me, normal is perfect. Now, touch response is the same thing as velocity settings. So if you're familiar with velocity, touch, all that kind of stuff, that's what this is all about. It mimics how you play the keys so you might press it like this if you go to light and if you go to heavy you have to press it harder to get the same kind of response that you get from light all right so that mimics the different kind of actions acoustic pianos have so let's go back and let's see what else we have we have touch off velocity that we can adjust we have tuning a440 is what we use here in the united states but there are other kinds of tunings so here's where you can adjust it doesn't have to be a440 it can be anything else all right but we're going to stick with a440 for now temperament we have it set to equal that's the default here in the u.s but there's a whole bunch of other temperaments. All right, so equal, we're all familiar with that here in the US. If we go to Pythagorean, maybe some of you noticed the difference. Some of you may have not. Let's go to Workmeister.
All right, so those are some random temperaments and that you can choose from. So you can see where I'm getting from. Let's go back to equal. And if we go, you notice there's three pages here. We're on page one of three. Go to the second page, temperate bass note, accompaniment, temperament, stretch tuning is on as it should be, brightness, you can adjust that, and that's pretty much it that you can adjust for the piano as far as the system setting menu goes. Now, here's where we get into some nitty gritty over here. We go to the effect menu, reverb edit. Now reverb is a pretty much important thing when it comes to piano. I kind of like it where it's at right now, but just to show you what you can do with this, the reverb type, the very first thing that you see over here, it's set for hall three. Okay, but you can set it to room, three different room settings, three different hall settings, and you got stadium and long delay. But going back out of this menu, you also have plate delay, pan delay, and large room one. So stadium two. Basically, you can see the differences over here as opposed to the previous Privia menus where you have like three or four settings. You can, you can adjust any of these settings that you choose. So anyway, as far as the reverb goes, you have time, early reflection, high damp, tone, and return that you can also adjust in addition to just choosing a, a specific reverb type. You can do the same thing with chorus. We're not going to get into that right now, but you can do that with chorus and delay and master and master EQ and acoustic simulator and so on and so forth. So we're not going to get into that, but basically we're just going to touch on the different piano settings that are most commonly alterable or configurable by you. All right, so let's go back to the main menu and we're going to go back to the effects over here. And aside from what we just went through, we can go to the acoustic simulator right now and let's hit enter. This is where you adjust hammer response, damper resonance, string resonance, and damper noise level. Now, hammer response, which I went through before, you, you've got eight different levels, zero through seven. Okay, so. If you were the pianist here and feeling what I'm feeling, I'm hitting the notes, but I'm not hearing it till a little bit later. There's a little bit of a delay. That's what the hammer response is all about. Let's put this back at zero. The damper resonance over here. That's how much it interacts with the so-called soundboard. See how much richer that is and if we go down to zero go back to like seven all right string resonance which i mentioned before if i hold down a c chord c e g c without having it sound and i play a cousin or a harmonic Hear how that resonates, whereas a note not related doesn't re resonate at all. Now, let's make this a little larger. And a little smaller. So you should be able to hear the difference there. This is what makes the piano very rich sounding. Damper noise level, when you hit the damper pedal, 
there's a little bit of noise that it makes and you can control that noise anywhere from 0 to 15. It's really not that noticeable, it's kind of subtle. Go back to the main menu and effects. All right, we're pretty much done with the effects section over here. But when you go to the tone settings and you've got an acoustic grand piano concert over here, you can hit edit and you can change things. Let's go edit again. You can change things that you can't do on other acoustic piano settings with other keyboards. This is so cool. You can change the pitch, the filter, the amp, the effect, the LFO, the portamento, and the panning level. Just to give you an idea, if you go into pitch right here, you can choose the octave shift, the envelope, the stretch tune. If you choose an envelope here, you've got this display over here. The initial level, the attack time, the release time, and the release level. you got a graphic over here. So if I'm adjusting the initial level, I mean, you, it's exaggerated, but you can hear what I'm getting at. And I can also go down. So I can make this piano sound so different than any other ordinary piano. I can do so many things to this that you cannot do on any other Privia model. Yeah, you can do a little bit of that with the Casio Privia PX5S, but this is so cool. You've got a, a graphic visual here to aid you in setting this all up. Now the attack time. See the difference here. release time release level so anyway you kind of get the idea that is just one thing and you can do so many different things with this so let's go back to tone. Let's hit edit again, edit again. Filter, you can do the same kind of thing and go back. Amp, you can do the same kind of thing. If you go to the envelope of the amp, you have more control over the initial level, the attack time, the attack level, decay time, decay level, and release time. So when you're, as you play with this, So you can see you can alter a whole bunch of stuff with this. It's still going. So you kind of get the idea here. But if we go back to tone and press edit over here, edit again, All right? Pitch, filter, amp, effect, LFO, portamento. Now here's an interesting thing over here, portamento. Portamento means gliding from one note to the next, Basically, if you turn portamento on, right now, there's no change because portamento time is set to zero. So, let's change that. And 
if we make this as high as it can go, 127. And let's go somewhere in the middle. So you can see, you can configure this any way you want to configure this. The possibilities are pretty much limitless, and you can make this Steinway 9-foot Grand sound completely unlike a Steinway 9-foot Grand, or any other piano for that matter, or you can make it sound just like a Steinway 9-foot Grand, but you can put your own spin on it. So this is so cool you cannot do this with any other previous series keyboard just the px560 yeah you can do this to a limited degree with the px5s but with this with the touch screen and with the graphic interface and all that kind of stuff man i love this piano piano man chuck peace out thanks for watching